Here are five mistakes I've made growing mangoes. I bought this grafted mango tree a year ago and not long after I bought it, it started developing flowers. That was my first mistake, growing the flowers. If I had cut the flowers, the tree would have focused its energy on growing taller and stronger and then the next year, I would have greater success with mangoes. The second mistake was thinking that these beetles were beneficial insects, which they are not. After the flowers fall, you are left with these baby mangoes. If I were to keep all these baby mangoes on the tree, it would be way too much for the small tree to carry. So I took all these baby mangoes off except for three. It would have been better for the tree long term if I had taken everything off, but I was just too excited to grow my own fruit. The three babies I left on are now teenagers and I'm a proud mango father. Yeah, I am bragging about my children. The third mistake I made was the positioning of these mangoes. The mangoes at the top were growing slower than the mangoes at the bottom. So when I selected the mangoes I chose to grow, I should have selected the ones closest to the base of the tree. It was a good idea to keep these mangoes in a breathable bag in case of certain insects or birds wanting to eat on the mango. However, my fourth mistake was putting it in a bag that didn't expand. At one point I struggled to take the mango out of the bag. My fifth mistake was picking these mangoes before they were ready. They are ready when they easily fall off the tree or when they fall off the tree themselves. The first mango I picked was still hard and I wrapped it in newspaper and after a few weeks it became soft. That mango tasted like a mango but was not sweet at all. However, this mango I'm holding right now I picked when it was slightly soft and I also wrapped it in newspaper for a couple of weeks and maybe left it a bit too long. You can see there's a bruise spot on there. <laughs> wow, that sliced beautifully. And it's juicy. <laughs> Alright, Bismillah. Still, not the sweetest mango I tasted. Way sweeter than the one before. I love how that coffin is going to come through in the video. It tastes so much like very mangoey. Very mango forward. <laughs> Um, I'm just happy that this is something I grew. It's my lock. Oh, is it yours? Yeah. Oh, it's very nice. Um, what are you going to do that? Anything? Very nice. Not the sweetest. Not the sweetest. It's not a turban mango, but it's a good mango for Cape Town. My turban is too to it. Hey, what's that face? I don't lie. Don't no. lie. No. Don't lie. Hassan, I'm not letting it taste. Where the where the prostaki was? Oh, you see the, uh, you see. What is that? Let the stuff for me too long. No. No, it's not all mango. Mmm, you see, you get what I'm saying. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs>